Now I'm gonna share with you the time that I wake up. You don't have to necessarily always wake up as early as I do. Realize that if I am tired, I will audible out of it here and there. But waking up early has really changed my life. And it's gonna change your life as well. And let me explain why. There's one main reason for waking up early. It's not because you wanna be, you think that you're better than everybody else. It's not because you're trying to be tough or you're trying to be tougher than everybody else. What it's gonna do for you is it's going to cause a cascade of disciplines to happen throughout the rest of your life. Let me explain what it's done for me. And I think that a lot of you can agree that it will help you as well. So when I start to think about, you know, waking up at 3.30, I wake up probably nearly every day, somewhere between 3 a.m. and maybe at the latest about 4.30. And I know some of you are probably thinking that's pretty crazy, but I still do get seven to eight hours of sleep, or at least I try to. If something has happened in my life and I'm only gonna get four or five hours of sleep, I audible out of it quickly. But the cascade of disciplines, it doesn't start when I wake up. It starts when I go to bed. And it actually doesn't even start when I go to bed. It starts hours before I go to bed. It actually starts in the middle of the day. And here's an interesting thing, and here's a great, another great reason why waking up early can change your life, is because your next day will start as soon as the rest of your other day has started to come to a close. So my day, my day ends at 3 p.m. I get home, and I get to relax, and I get to enjoy myself with my family. I get to eat my food, because I don't eat during the day either. But the cascade of disciplines that have happened, I get all my work done from 3 a.m. until 3 p.m. That 12 hour time slot is a time to kick some serious ass. It's time to get training done. It's a time to drop my kids off at school. It's a time to go to Slingshot World Headquarters and kick some ass, get into some meetings, make sure everything's organized, make sure everything is the way that it is. And I'm way more organized now than I've ever been in my life. But as soon as that's over, I come home, I start my feasting because I utilize intermittent fasting and I usually only eat twice a day. And all that has been spawned and all that has started once I started to wake up a lot earlier. And here's the magical part right here. When I get home at about 4 p.m., the first thing that I do, hop right into the shower. And the reason why I hop into the shower, I would much rather prefer, I'm a morning shower person. But I changed, I changed all that. Why am I taking a shower right then? Well, I'm taking one so I don't need to take one at three in the morning when I wake up. After the shower's done, after I get dried off and everything, I change, I put my clothes on, I set out my clothes for the next day. So that when I wake up at 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. or whatever that time is, I'm ready to kick some ass. And it doesn't matter how tired I am because the clothes are already laid out. The obligations are already laid out. I already told uh, some of my team, some of my teammates, some of my staff, I already told them I'm going to be at the gym at 4.30. So because of that and because I already got the clothes laid out, everything's already almost halfway done. But those are just some of the things that it can do for you. And how much work I get done in a given day has increased um, I would say, I would say it at least has doubled. And I've already been somebody who uh, loves to work. I've already been someone who loves to get shit done. Maybe this can be something that could be a huge benefit to you, but the number one reason, and the main reason why you wanna wake up early is because of the cascade of disciplines that will descend downward from waking up earlier. From waking up earlier, you're gonna go to bed earlier. From going to bed earlier, you're probably gonna be missing a meal that you shouldn't be eating anyway. How many of you sit on the couch and just consume calories and watch TV, Netflix and chill and stuff like that, right? At nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, I realize that we all need our downtime and I have my downtime too. But also, how much better shape would you be in if you cut out that, that snack after dinner? Because you don't, let's face it, let's just face it, let's just say it, you don't need it. 
you want it and you think you need it, but you certainly don't need it. So it's gonna cause a cascade of disciplines to descend downward, getting to bed earlier. Another thing that's gonna happen from it is you're going to get off your phone earlier because you should be getting off your phone at least an hour before you go to bed, in my opinion. And there's a lot of science behind it, behind the light on the screen and all that. I'm not even so much concerned about that. I just think you should get the fuck away from your phone. And it's just one hour, you know? So get rid of your phone an hour before you go into bed. Let's say you're going to bed at nine. Phone is away at eight. You prepare for bed a little earlier. You brush your teeth a little bit earlier. Everything happens just a little bit earlier. And because all those things happen a little bit earlier, it feels like you're getting ahead and it feels like you're way out in front of everybody for the next day. So I highly recommend that you wake up early. I think it's gonna cause a cascade of disciplines that's going to help change your life. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch you all later.